here. I am feeling exceedingly well. Yes, you can use that reply the next time someone asks you, hi, how are you? You can say, I am doing exceedingly well. And they'll be confused, they'll wonder why. Just because you're alive, you're exceedingly well. Up oh, before we start, it's time to do some bicep curls with just the air. You ready? Da 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 Ha! Ha! Alright. I need to tell you something. I was walking through the grocery store. I asked three people, tell me what you want to talk about. Tell me what you want to know about. Guess what they told me? Guess! They said they want to know about politics, religion, and business. Wow. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm not an expert at any of them, but just like you, just like when you talk to your mother, your brother, your best friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, in private, those conversations that you have that you'll never say in public, I'm going to have it with you. I'm going to tell you how I feel just like when I have a private conversation. And don't worry, I'm not going to offend anybody. I'm just going to tell you how I feel. And we might have a guest appearance at the end, I'm not sure. Hopefully we do. But that's it. We're going to talk about politics and religion. I'm about to start right now. Now remember, I'm not an expert. I am just my brain. Are you ready? All right, I'm going to step back. I'm going to sit down. Woo, look at this. We have a guest, Mr. Teddy. By the way, I want to thank you all for being here, watching, and commenting. It is so fantastic of you. All right, take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Right? But I know myself too 
if she's going through menopause, do you really want someone who's waking up from night sweats to, you know, make really difficult decisions? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's that time of the month. She's ready to kill everybody. No. I say, a man is good. I'm not being gender biased. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm talking to you. Listen. I'm talking to you the way I would talk to my mother in private. This is, when I'm doing here, I'm a little bit scared, but I'm thinking you're thinking the same thing. Or maybe I'm making you think of something you never thought of before. You know what I'm saying? You know? Actually, I think you have a woman president. You should vote her in actually after 65. After menopause is over. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> vote anybody in. Nobody cares anymore, right? Now. The problem with politics is this. We all feel, and this is why I would never get into politics, lied to. Because you have to be lied to. Because big corporations are paying them to get elected, right? So everything is about the big businesses. People like you and me, most, I don't know what you do for a living, but when I did a 1099 and I didn't pay taxes, guess who owed the government 20 Have you driven around? Have you seen how much land there is? 
what? The other soldier felt bad. See? Because 80% of the time, men don't kill other men. Face to face, they feel bad. When something's autonomous and you give it to a robot or you just drop a bomb, it doesn't feel anything. That's the problem. We can't go backward in time. I'm telling you what I think. We shouldn't have guns, we shouldn't have bombs. And people are going to fight. Fight face to face because now at least we are getting rid of casualties. We don't want casualties. All right? What can I do? I'm a nobody. I mean, I'm somebody or somebody, but I'm nobody like that can change anything. All I can do is have this conversation and these thoughts, and I'm sure if I'm thinking it, you're thinking it, or someone else is thinking it, that if you had a fight face to face, we'd avoid a lot of horrible, 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 tragic, horrible, tragic, awful stuff. Okay, that's politics. Now, it's pretty amazing that you got this one Earth, this one place, and if you landed here, or if an alien landed here, and he said, take me to my people, you'd say, okay, but which people? From what country? From what state? From what language? You know what I mean? Like, we're one race, but we all have different cultures, we all have different ways of looking at the world, we all have different beliefs, and you know what? That's absolutely fine. That's what makes existing as a human fantastic. Now, let's just remove the bombs, the guns, the poison, and everything else that hurts people without doing it face to face. Let's go back to doing it face to face. And let's get rid of all the nuclear bombs. Because who does a nuclear bomb help? Absolutely nobody. But I can't change anything. I can just talk. Religion. Religion. Um, again, I'm not an expert at religion. I don't have any really strong religious beliefs. But I do believe that there is, like, look at this. How do I exist? What is this? Look, look, my arms, my hands, my brain. All life. Even that daddy long leg spider that I see in my bathroom hanging out. I go, how you doing, daddy long legs? How you doing? You having a good day today? I saved his life. Why? Because intelligence, or if you want to use the, the word God, whatever word you want to use for this hot life, it's all over the place, is in everything. It's in the worms, it's in the dirt, it's in the trees, it's in the fungi, it's in, I mean, here, roaches. Do you know that there are 5,000 types of roaches? But don't you worry, only 45 of the species lived amongst us, which is enough for the exterminators to be in business, right? So we're killing roaches, right? What about, what about um, spiders? 12,000 different spiders. Humans. How many different types of humans? Just one. That's it. Okay, we might look different on the outside, right? I might be big country, but realistically, if you come in and you come to see me and I go to look at your heart with ultrasound, it looks exactly the same as anybody else. If you come from India, China, Pakistan, Australia, Alaska, Kuwait, it's all the same. Unless you have some kind of congenital deformity, we are all the same inside. It's just that our cultures are different and the way we look is a little bit different. When a calico cat has five different cats of different color, do we say they're a different species? It's the same species. It's the same race. Let me tell you something. People are good. No matter what, you have people volunteering, sacrificing their time, trying to recover the damage that the bad humans have done. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, for every evil person, maybe you have five volunteers looking to undo the evil, like the Amazon forest, like the poor elephants. My goodness, if I can go to the animal sanctuary in Bangkok, oh my God, the elephants, oh, let me say, before I die, please, I want to hang out with an elephant. I want to cuddle it, I want to hang out with it, I want to be like, hey, what's up, how are you? Here, 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 let, let, me, let me tell you something. This man, 
he worked with orphan elephants, okay? The elephants who were abused now. One good human helping undo what a bad human did, right? When this man, when his soul left his body and he passed away, guess what not one, not two, not five, 12 elephants did. They walked 12 miles to his burial site and paid respect. Okay, stay with me here. I'm not putting myself down, but truthfully, I don't know one person who's gonna walk 12 miles to my resting ground. Elephants are special. They might be better than humans. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding, humans were great. We're fantastic, we're so good to each other. But what can you do for me, right? I'm just kidding. I, you know what, listen. Can you do something good for someone and not tell anybody about it? That would be my favorite thing. Just keep it to yourself. That's what truly makes it good. All right, so now let's go back to religion. Here's an interesting question. Do animals have a religion? <laughs> you ever think about that? Like, does an elephant pray? Does a gorilla pray? We know the praying mantis prays, right? But besides that, does the spider pray for you to not step on it before you step on it when it's invading your space? Which, by the way, another little fact to tell you is that 100% of homes, 100% of the time, have spiders. Leave them alone! Especially the daddy's only. They won't hurt you. They're conscious. Everything is conscious! You're conscious! You're consciously watching this! Thank you! Appreciate that! Whew, I am, like, sweating. I mean, who talks and sweats? As I'm talking? I'm sweating. <laughs> That's so stupid. I'm so sweaty. That's why I can't live in a hot place. Like you people, anyone in Kuwait, how do you do it? Arizona people, how do you do it? California people, are you waiting for that fault? Is it gonna hit? We got those fires again. California is beautiful, but how do you do it? Remember when all the places that used to be cool are no longer cool? Now they're all so hot. Oh, we're all just melting. Uh, so, religion and politics. I have a lot of thoughts on both. But, the same answer is this for both. It doesn't matter what you believe in or how you feel. I don't hate you. I have nothing but love and respect for you. As long as you don't hurt any other person. How simple is that? So simple, so simple, so simple. I don't even care if you tell me I don't know anything. Uh, what am I talking about? I'd say, okay, yeah, you're right. Like, I'm not mad. I don't care. I'm just good talking. I told you I'm not an expert. Even the experts aren't experts. How much can you possibly know about one topic? And a lot of stuff is usually not 100% right. The people who write the history books don't always write them with the correct history, right? So, listen. Whatever you believe in, God bless you. I think you are fabulous. We all need something to believe in. Some people don't need anything to believe in and they're still do wonderful. It's all about what makes you feel good. Because in life, there's a lot of sadness and tragedy and we have to recover because there's a lot of happiness to be had as well. Now, Elephants, when their fellow elephant passes away, they bury it and they mourn it. We're not the only animals, smart animals, that mourn. Everything mourns. It's sad. Nobody, listen, again, unless you're a sociopath, a psychopath, which, I don't know, um, I guess God made you too, I don't know why. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I'm confused. Someone help me. See, what do I know? See, that's what doesn't make sense. And I think that's why people do and don't believe in a higher being. I'm just using the word God because that's, that's a word. Like some people say the universe, God. You can use another word. I don't, I'm just here. I exist. But you have to admit, it's pretty crazy that we exist. It's pretty crazy that you have thoughts and I have thoughts. It's pretty crazy that you can think differently based on what you hear.
here repetitively. For example, all you have to do is give someone a good jingle. Two times they hear that jingle, and that's it. They're in a trance. Like that stupid commercial, I'm shopping like a billionaire. I'm shopping like a billionaire. Like, really? You need more garbage? It's just like these garage sales that they have. It's just really a garbage sale. People getting rid of their stuff. Meanwhile, you have places on earth where all people want is water. Fresh, clean water. Oh my God. Everybody just wants more and more and more. Now remember, every other species besides humans, 90% of the time is looking for food and shelter. Humans, only 1% of the time looking for food and shelter. The other 99% of the time, we're looking how to destroy each other. I'm just kidding, that was a joke. No, but seriously, the other 90% of the time, we're like, what do I do? What do I watch? I need a hobby. I need to make a difference. Like, uh, 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 I don't know, run a marathon, get a sick pack. Da, 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 da. We have too much time on our hands because we invented fire, and we have a refrigerator, and we have shelter, and we have clean water. But this is not all over the world. People are suffering. This shouldn't be happening. So then that brings in the question, well, then where is God? Where is God? Where is God in all of the suffering? This is why everyone is confused. We don't get it. Perhaps God is just a blueprint of intelligence that just exists on its own without any intervention. That could be a possibility. It's like, here I am, and then you're set free. Now remember, God also made 5,000 different types of roaches. Most of them live in the Amazon. You're welcome. I just hit my tooth on this thing. I gotta be careful. I should be talking like this, right? So what does everybody think about religion, about politics? Listen, I don't have any firm belief in anything. I don't really, I'm not an expert in politics, but I get rid of all weapons, all bombs, all nukes. That's me. And for religion, believe in whatever you want, just don't hurt another human. Isn't that simple? Simple, simple. Listen, you ask a little kid, two years old, three years old, five years old, unless you brainwash them, because sometimes that's what some evil dictators do. They start brainwashing from very young, because the mind is very easily brainwashed. But if they're not brainwashed, a pure, happy child, they just love each other to love each other. That's it, so simple. Unless you have a sociopath child. Is that possible? Socio-psychopath, two years old? I don't think so. Where am I going with this? I'm just kidding. Oh, this is taking a turn for something that I don't understand. No, anyway. Listen, animals, kids, children, how could you want to hurt any of them? I don't get it. You know? Sometimes I feel like, I don't know why the people, like the presidents of different nations, are they sociopaths and so psychopaths? Because how could they not want to prevent any bombing of anyone? There has to be a way. Perhaps we have to take less for ourselves on the places that have too much and give more to the places that don't have enough. Because some places, they have too, too much. Like, what do you need a giant house? You don't need it. Like, I guess, no, I don't want communism. I just think that it gets overboard. People, remember, whether you rent or buy, you're still going to die. I think it's people trying to Trying to get out of the fact that you're immortal, you're not going to be here forever, that what matters most is how you can improve someone else's life when you already struck gold. Because not everybody can be a real estate investor and make millions of dollars. Not everybody can open a security business and make millions of dollars. Not everybody can be a YouTuber playing video games with 5 million subscribers and make money. Most people, right? Without most people doing the real work that we need to be done, everything would fall apart, right? Everyone can't do these jobs where everyone becomes rich. You have a small pool of people who can become financially wealthy and then give back. Not give back to people who don't do anything, no. I mean give back to people who are already working hard. You see, you see what I'm saying? Not people who are sitting around who can be doing something and contributing. No, 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 no. I'm talking about people who already work hard. Give them something. And don't tell anybody about it. Because I like people who do something good, and then they tell everybody about it. That negates it. Negate. I'm really trying to suck it in here. Suck it in that belly. All right, that's my video for today. I was trying to have a guest speaker come down here so we could wrestle, but listen, I got to tell you something. I am being ghosted by 
driver would look sad, that makes me sad, right? If I see a truck driver who looks sad, that makes me sad. If I see a dentist who looks like he's sick of his job and sad, eh, that makes me sad. And it just makes me sad to see other people sad. Me, you can tell me, I, mean, I, don't, I don't feel anything if you insult me, because the way I see it is the space that was given to me is, you know, random, this body is random, my thoughts, well, my thoughts can be a little bit random. Who I am, <laughs> it's all attributed to luck. That's pretty much it. Because the chances of me being born and you being born is like zero. But actually the official number was what? One in 400 trillion? And yet people are still not happy. You don't have to be happy all the time. You don't have to be like, huh, ah, no. Just content. Because listen, if you have clean water, something to eat, you are good. Because every other species is dying.